Hey everybody, okay, so I know that some people think all Chinese people look alike, so you may think that's me on the screen right now looking all twitchy, but that's not me. That's Mr. Zhao, the lead software engineer of Rokeed, a company based in China and also the US that specializes in AR and AI products. Currently, he is trying to save the Earth from incoming asteroids. So he helped design this pair of AR glasses called Rokeed Vision. Rokid actually prefers to call it MR glasses, as in mixed reality, but I think AR, aka augmented reality, sounds a little bit more closer than what the thing is. I think there's too many terms on that. MR, AR, whatever, man. Just call it whatever you want to call it. So AR glasses or MR glasses or AR goggles, whatever the heck you want to call them, if you're unfamiliar with them, they are basically devices that you wear on your head, they're a type of wearable that you wear on your head and after that what it does is it's supposed to overlay graphics or visuals over the real world. So this differs from VR goggles in that VR is supposed to be completely immersive, like you wear VR goggles, you're not supposed to see any part of the real world, you're supposed to see what the virtual reality is. So AR or MR basically allows you to still see the real world but with graphics overlaid on top. So basically, the best example I can think of is Iron Man or Tony Stark. Whenever he's in the Iron Man outfit, that's when you see all those graphic overlays over his head. That's AR or MR. So AR and MR glasses have been around for a few years now. And the biggest names right now are the Microsoft HoloLens and the Magic Leap. And both of those are pretty pricey at two or three thousand US dollars and pre pretty bulky too. So what Rokeed is trying to do, the Rokeed Vision, is to make a pair of AR glasses that's a lot more affordable and also a lot more portable. So I don't have official pricing of the Rokeed Vision yet because it's not going on sale for at least another half a year. So Rokeed says the Vision, the AR glasses, will go on sale in Q1 of 2020. So that could be anywhere from six, seven, eight months from now. But Rokeed did promise that when it does go on sale, the Vision will be Price it around a flagship smartphone, so that means you can expect maybe 700, 800, or 900 US dollars, or maybe at most 1,000. So that's a lot cheaper than what Microsoft is asking for the HoloLens or the Magic Leap. Those are like 2,700, 3,000 dollars. Now I know, I know, these glasses look very goofy on me, right? But that's just because I'm an awkward looking person. Now, you look at this girl, when she wears the glasses, they look pretty good on her, probably because she's much better looking than I am. So let's look at the hardware. The Vision's front side has two fisheye lens and an RGB camera. And together, they produce this thing called SLAM, which means simultaneous localization and mapping. This basically means the glasses will know what it's looking at and know how far the stuff is away. Like say if I'm looking at a wall, it'll know how far the wall is away from me. Or if I'm looking out on the street, it'll know when there's cars in front of me or humans. It, it, basically it's aware of what's happening in front of me so it can overlay AR graphics that's kind of accurate to the real life scene. Now inside of Vision are two screens that pump up visuals at 720p resolution. Now I gotta admit, 720p is a little bit low, a lot of the competitors out there are pumping out 1080p resolution or even 2K. But at least you're getting 60 frames per second here, so visuals are pretty smooth. From my testing, everything looked okay. I wish, you know, it was 1080p, so it would be a little bit more sharp. But at least the visual overlay did move along my head, and it did overlay over the real world correctly. Now keep in mind, this pair of glasses I'm testing is prototype hardware running prototype software. So maybe the visuals will get better. In fact, if you watch Rokeed's marketing material, they're really showing some really immersive visuals that look very sharp and very immersive. I mean, that's pretty damn cool. If the Rokeed glasses actually deliver and can allow me to do what she's doing right now with the computer screen, then I'm sold. I will wear the Rokeed Vision at coffee shops anywhere. I don't care if he'll give me real looks, I would just be wearing it and doing work on it because that is pretty damn cool. Now the Roki Vision is pretty lightweight at 120 grams. That's about a quarter of a pound. And as you can see, the strap is adjustable. So that means even if you have a huge ass head, it will fit over your head without any issues. So Roki was able to keep the glasses so light because the glasses do not have any uh, chips or processor inside. Instead, you plug the glasses into a smartphone or a computer via USB-C. 
And after that, the smartphone computer will handle all the processing. Now this also brings another benefit. That means as you upgrade your phone or computer, you're also upgrading the chipset that's powering all these AR visuals. Some of the other competing devices, they're locked into a chipset. They're locked into say a Qualcomm, Qualcomm Snapdragon 845. But if you use the Rokeed Vision, let's say right now you're using Samsung Galaxy S10. That's a Snapdragon 855. Let's say two years later, you're using the Samsung Galaxy S12. That would be a Snapdragon, I don't know, like, like 970 or something. So that means you have a more powerful processor. So Rokeed has a team of about 30 software engineers right now. They've already built dozens of apps and software. And um, Rokeed says that it's going to open up the SDK to third-party developers so they can build more content. Now, do I think there's a need for the Rokeed Vision right now in 2019? Actually, yeah, I think so, because if you're putting out a gadget that's cutting edge and futuristic and it doesn't cost that much, there will always be people that are interested in something cool, something new. Now, to be honest, do I think the Roki Vision or the AR, MR glasses, are they a must-have accessory for the normal consumer in 2019? Then no, that's probably still four, five, six, seven years away, but at least we're going in the right direction. As we're going now, I think in the future, we won't need a computer monitor or a TV screen anymore. You can just put on a pair of AR or, v or MR goggles and then you can just do work and you'll be able to have over stuff overlay in front of you or you can watch a movie. Like I wouldn't need to carry a laptop on me because I just need a little mini keyboard and I can have a screen right in front of me and I'll be doing work anywhere, anytime and I'm excited for that day. So the unit I tested in this video, it's a prototype pair of glasses. So maybe in three months, I'll have a a pair that's more retail ready. And when that comes, I will make a more in-depth video. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.